Hey guys, Snazzy here, uh, bringing you some Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay. So uh, let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, basically, I'm going to be telling you guys some things I like about the game, some things I don't like about the game. Hopefully, I can help your decision on whether you want the game or not. Um, I'm going to start off with my complaints about the game, which I only have like two complaints about the game. Other than that, I like it pretty much. I uh, definitely recommend to get it or pre order it if you haven't yet and uh, go pick it up when it comes out. But uh, to start off, I don't like the uh, character system, which they've implemented in this game now, and it's basically at the beginning of the multiplayer gameplay, you're going to choose a character and one ability to go with it, and what I don't like about it is that all the characters, you know, there's only so many of them, and you end up having like five of the same character in a multiplayer match. I really wish they would have opted for like uh, more customization in that respect, like where you would pick a class and a uh, ability maybe at the beginning and then you could customize the way your character looks. That would be really sweet, but they, they did not do that, so that's my first and biggest complaint about it. And uh, sorry about this portion of the gameplay, It's the sound is way out of sync, I don't know what happened when I recorded it, it got messed up somehow, but I decided to include it anyways. Um, so the second complaint would be the spawn system. Uh, it's definitely not the best spawn system we've seen in a Call of Duty. Uh, they, I'm sure they can work on it, you know, before it comes out. I'm sure they probably will because there's been a lot of complaints about it. It's just, it's easy to spawn trap and, um, it's just, it really takes from, you know, the experience that new gamers are going to have or new players to this game. So I hope they fix that, or at least make it a little bit better, at the very least. Um, so some cool new features they got that I really like. They uh, they brought the paint shop. Uh, they made a thing called the paint shop, where you go in and you make custom uh, camos for your guns, basically. And it's like uh, Black Ops 1 or 2, or even Advanced Warfare, where you would go in and use different emblems and... Uh, you can layer them and stack them, you know, and change the size and color of it, and you can end up making some really cool pictures out of that, or characters, like video game characters, or Pokemon. I've seen a lot of Pokemon made. And that stuff's really cool. It's really complex to be able to do that. It takes a lot of work for the people, you know, the first person to create something like that. Um, so, yeah, and you can do that on your gun now, so that's pretty awesome. You can, you know, make all sorts of stuff. And there's still going to be the camos for like the regular camos that come in the game so you'll be able to mix and match and get different combinations out of it that'll be super sweet I think uh, I can't wait to see what people come up with for that um, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome uh, the movement system they've overhauled the movement system pretty much it's a lot better than what they did in say like advanced warfare I, it was kinda sloppy you know you would mount when you would like double jump and mount walls or uh, you know ledges or whatever it would kind of look glitchy when you would mount it it wouldn't look like you really just jumped up on it you know um, so the wall running and everything seems to be really smooth here um, and just the flow of the game it keeps you running and gunning they really you know it seems like they're making it harder and harder for campers and I like that a lot uh, I used to be a camper myself sadly <laughs> when I first started but I've long since lost that bad habit and running gun is the way to go it really is a way to get more kills and just stay on your toes you know get out and get away from kills not just sit in a spot you know you kill somebody they're gonna come right back for you if they know what they're doing so that's cool I'm glad they're moving that direction with Call of Duty <coughs> um other than that yeah I don't really have too much to say about like there's I don't have any more complaints it's it's a really good game like I said I'd recommend definitely going to get it um, they brought back some cool stuff and uh, there's lots of new score streaks they brought back some cool score streaks like the Hellstorm you just seen the Hellstorm missile um, they brought back the ghost perk which is cool it's it makes it a little bit harder to stay off the UAV than normal like uh, Black Ops 2 did where you have to stay moving or be planting a bomb or something like that to stay off the radar. 
Uh, other than that, you know, UAV's powerful again. You know, usually it's not that powerful of a thing because, you know, everybody just takes off the radar or whatever and you can't, you know, you don't see them when you have UAV. So it's a lot harder now. That's cool. It'll make it a little bit more fast paced, I think, as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this gameplay and uh, I hope to see you when Black Ops 3 comes out. Um, these next couple of clips, you can see some camos I've made that are pretty cool in the paint shop. That's how I did all that in the paint shop, just custom camos. Um, some cool little game winners and stuff like that. And uh, the very last clip is pretty funny where I go to do a wall run and all of a sudden it, I stop and I didn't know what happened. I look down and I'm standing on a teammate's head. And I like jump off his head and continue wall running as he falls to his death. It was pretty funny. Like, what's up, bro? Oh, peace, bro. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Black Ops 3. The Mooster. Master.